for Eyewitness News, call 12 for action. It seems like everyone is virtually connected through Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, but these social networking sites could be unconsciously or consciously making in you into a competitive parent. Problem solver Susan Hogan has the story. Well, competitive parenting seems to be an ongoing issue, and social media is simply feeding the frenzy. Do you ever feel less than perfect when you search on Pinterest and reveals cookies shaped like Scrabble pieces? Or does a few minutes on Facebook fill you with envy over your friend's great vacations and their picture-perfect kids? Well, it might help to hear the results of recent research. People use Facebook to compensate for their own deficiencies. and. Uh, uh, Facebook highlights the positive aspects and can cover up the negative uh, parts in you. Psychology professors recently took a comprehensive look at 22 recent studies and found most people use social networks for two common reasons. One, a sense of belonging, and two, self-presentation. can be an opportunity to create a, a life uh, that one wants to live rather than uh, a life that, uh, that the person actually lives. These days, it seems everyone is logged on and living ideal lives. Renee Seiler has nicknamed herself the Good Enough Mother. She's written a book and maintains a website of the same name. She's tired of the competitive parenting trends she's seen on social media. Social media is a wonderful, wonderful tool. But do you really think that anybody's going to put their bad foot forward? <laughs> of course not. She reminds parents to put what they see from Facebook to Twitter to Pinterest into perspective. This is not real life. I always say it's important to parent for the people who really matter uh, in your life, and those are the people under your own roof. If you're having a hard time unplugging from Facebook, just update your status and tell everyone that you're just going to unplug for about a week. Try it that way first so it's not over and done with for a long, long time. And then just simply tell everyone where to find you on the phone or text, of course. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until one hotline 228-1850. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.